elevation makes a huge difference. We were driving from Las Vegas to Joshua Tree. There was a big accident, so we decided we would cut through the Mojave Desert instead of going around. Seemed like a smart thing to do. We had charged up to over 80% before we hit the desert. The problem was there was a big elevation change going up, going through the Mojave Desert. Now, I was driving with my two kids, over 100 degrees, maybe it was 112 degrees. I thought I had 80% charge. We get on, on the road and I am seeing my um, mileage and power decrease very, very quickly. My rate of consumption was at two, and that means that it was two times the 64 kilowatt hours that my battery has, meaning my range at 100% was only gonna be 128. And you know that we can get across this road, right? Yeah. Oh, we could get, the, crossing this isn't gonna be the prob problem. What's the problem, so we're gonna get beyond there? We're not gonna have a problem tonight. But when you say crossing, this wouldn't be the problem. We would get through this easily, and then then it would be what would happen on the other side. On the other side, but yeah. don't worry, please. No, I'm not worried. I was scared because I felt like, wow, we're in the desert. It's really hot. Something is wrong. I just couldn't figure it out. I shut the AC off. I started going super, super slow, put it into eco mode, did everything I possibly could, and it still wasn't really changing. So now we're heading downhill out of the Mojave Desert. And it's a nice gentle slope, so I guess we didn't notice that we were going uphill for the first part of the desert, but it was burning energy so fast and kind of freaked us out because we couldn't figure out what was going on. It's also about 109 degrees outside right now, so we turned the AC down. I thought maybe it was the heat, and um, there was just, yeah, it was a mystery until we kind of crested this hill and realized that it was because we had been going uphill this whole time. So it made a huge difference. Now I'm at 3.5 miles per kilowatt hour, but during the first part of the trip, I was only at uh, two, which is kind of huge. I even was going about 52 miles an hour. So um, anyway, it was a mystery. Thank goodness it solved. And also thank goodness um, we started going downhill because otherwise there's no way we would have made it to Palm, Palm Springs. Now, when we were going downhill, going into Palm Springs, we actually, I think, used barely any power for 40 miles, but I just didn't know that that, that was gonna make such a significant difference, and now I do. So again, this all comes down to plan your trip and know that your mileage is really gonna vary depending on the way you drive and depending on where you are driving.